Welcome back my children to another Mortal Kombat X video. I will be continuing the Fatal Classic Tower and I left off at match 30 with uh, Sector Triborg, Smoke Triborg and Cyrex Triborg. I will be using Strike Force Johnny Cage, Cold, Wa Cold Ward Sonyan Blade and Balanced Kenji. The modifier is 1 for all. Only one teammate is generating power. If the active character is not the power generating teammate, they will start losing power. Now that I think about it, if I'm starting match 30, does that mean I lost a match in the uh, previous uh, tower or so? The Fatal Classic Tower? Because I don't remember. Oh, I think it was in a boss battle because uh, it took too long or something like that. I don't remember. Damn it. But whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna start. I got like a 40 minutes left, so I gotta do this quick. So that I can continue after 10 a.m. Right now it's 9.23 a.m. Alright, I forgot that this is the one for all modifier. But whatever. Wait, what? Didn't I defeat, defeat one of them already? But like, all three? But whatever, it doesn't matter. There we go. All three defeated. Okay, I'm ho hoping for something good. 5,900 5, coins. At least it's not 1,000, I guess. So whatever. Anyways, uh, Injustice Scorpion, Shaolin Master Kong Lao, and Grandmaster Sub-Zero. No modifier. I'm trying to make the matches quick as possible as I can. There we go. And okay, he has the ice decoy. And now he's defeated. Very nice and quick. Cool, a support for Tanya, Ally Melina. And it's at rank 8 now. Awesome. Okay, next match. So now it's Slasher Jason Vorgs, Flaming Fist Liu Kang, and Classic Sub Zero. No modifier. Time to defeat them. How did he not get defeated yet? There we go. He revives once. He's gonna revive twice. Well, resurrect, whatever. Doesn't matter what it's called. Revive and resurrect is basically the same thing. It is, right? Damn it, that's gonna miss. Yep, I know it. Oh my goodness, he froze me. Just get defeated. There we go. Did he really have to attack first? Finally. Took longer than expected. But whatever. 6,800 coins. I'm hoping for some classic tower equipment. Maybe an epic or a rare one. That would be nice. Alright. Kobo Jetsu Tanya. Gunslinger Iron Black. And Ninjutsu Scorpion. No modifier. Time to defeat them. She blocked it. Oh great, another block. Damn it. And she attacked. There she got defeated. Now for Iron Black, he got defeated. And Scorpion as well. Alright, that was much quicker than the previous match. 2000 coins. It's getting lower. Not good. Okay, um, Commando Kano, Inferno Scorpion, and Sector Tribe work. No modifier. I'm gonna use his first special again. Nice, he did not block it this time. Scorpion did, at least. Damn it. Oh my goodness, that's gonna miss. Yeah. But whatever, still defeated him. 
or her. Five thousand charger coins. Okay, it's not going lower anymore. Now for Grandmaster Sub Zero, High Tech Jackie Briggs, and Torque Lord Kotokan. You gotta refresh the attempts. And there's no modifier. Oh great, he has the ice decoy. There we go. Awesome, she got defeated. And so did Kotokan. There we go. Okay, now I have to switch my characters. Because they have no more energy. 5,100 coins. Next match. Yeah, so I'm going to switch to Ronin Kenshi, Assassin Jade, and Hellspawn Scorpion. So I got to go to the Faction Wars to equip the equipment because for some reason Revolver is locked for uh, the challenge or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, um, Helmet, I will give him the Rockin' token. One of my favorite tokens ever since it ever since it came out, which wasn't so long ago. Um I'll give her what am I supposed to give her? Alright, the uh ble bladed fan. Then she will also get the um where is it? Dearest memory. I think I want to give her a different armor equipment. Just not sure which one. What does this one do? No, not that one. Yeah, I guess I'll keep it with that one. Doesn't matter, I guess. Anyways, now for Hellspawn Scorpion. So I'm going to give him only the the uh, what do you call it the classic tower equipment and oh great I did not think about that I cannot give him this one because he does have um, 30% special attack 1 and 2 unblockable chance so, I, so I'd rather keep that I'll give it to um, Jade then and I'll give him the Varen jacket that still works even though it's not the Sorcerer's Tower. Okay, so I'm going to give her the uh, this equipment. I'll take that one away. And yeah, that's it. Anyways, not to continue the Fatal Classic Tower. Alright, so Aftershock Tremor, Lizard Baraka, and Bone Shipper Chinook. No modifier. First is Tremor. Okay, I gotta use his first special. There we go. Now for List Baraka. Nice, he did not block it. And now for Shinnok. There we go, he got defeated very quick. Alright, continue. Oh my goodness, why it's taking so long? Alright, special attack 2 upgrade for diamond characters. Pretty nice. Okay, I need a classic tower equipment. Shara Ryu Takeda, uh, cosplay Jackie Briggs and convert up Casey Cage. The modifier is enraged. Enemies power up more quickly. So I'm going to start off with his first special. Oh great, he's blocking it. But whatever. And another block. But he's defeated regardless. 
There we go. Very nice. And she's defeated. All three. Very quick and easy. 3,200 coins. Alright, uh, Grandmaster Sub-Zero, Classic Sub-Zero, and Crown Mancer Sub-Zero, three Sub-Zeros. The modifier is Arctic Wind. Active character on your team gets frozen and affected by Frostbite that slows your fighter. Damn. It's a fitting modifier for the three Sub-Zeros. I gotta be careful with them. Alright. Also, Grandmaster Sub-Zero is going to have the Ice Decoy. There it is. Please do not block it. Okay, good. They kind of look the same, especially Cryomancer Sub-Zero and Grandmaster Sub-Zero. Okay, I got Frozen. And, oh my goodness, he froze me again. Oh my goodness, I was about to defeat him. Oh great. And there we go. Took a while, but prevailed. Okay, next match. Come on, continue. Whoa. That is the most souls I ever got for Sorcerer's Tower. I mean, for a tower. 70 souls is that the max that is the very first time that is very very rare it seems because like i said my first time uh, let me see it shows right here oh okay so 80 souls is the max that is um still very high 70 souls very cool also now that i notice i have never gotten the most coins as well which is 8,000. It's always only around 6,000 that I've gotten. Never 8,000 or 7,000. At least I think so. I know I've never gotten 8,000, but for 7,000, I don't remember. Anyways, uh, Shara, Ryu, Takeda, Spectral Ermac, and Tactical Sonya and Blade. The modifier is off balance. Your team was cut off guard. Random tagging. So, very surprising to get 70 souls. I like that. Okay, good. He did not block it. Nice. Now for tactical Sonya and Blade. Awesome. He got defeated very quick thanks to Ronin Kenshi and the Rockin' Token equipment. All right, 6,800 coins, like I said, the most coins I've gotten, but I don't remember if I've ever gotten 7,000 coins. Oh, it's a boss battle, I forgot. Whoa, wait, what? Boss Lizard Noob Cybot? Since when? Oh my goodness. So there's a new character, but they never announced it, because I've never seen that character before. I gotta refresh the attempt. So boss lizard noob cybot, which looks very badass, and boss lizard baraka. They each have three equipment equipped. Uh, is he supposed to be a gold character or a diamond character? I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, I think he is a gold character. Yeah, I, I mean it shows right there. The goldness in the axe so he's a gold character apparently just that he's not out yet or something I don't know they're both uh, level 60 in rank X the modifiers are dot immunity timed indestructible and retrofication which I don't like that modifier let me check quickly is he out yet or is he going to come out at some point? Because the newest character for sure is Classic Movie Raiden. Who is doesn't appear for both Classic Towers or some reason. But yeah, there's no Lizard um, Noob Cybot. 
it doesn't show. And I know that this classic noob sci-fi does not turn into the lizard one. So I don't know. Anyways, I don't know why they do that so many times. They always have like a secret character that's not out yet. And then they announce him. But whatever. Anyways, now to start. I have a couple, like more than 20 minutes left, I think. But I still gotta do this quick. So I wanna get rid of his shields. Because they're gonna be annoying. Okay, there, first one. Damn it. He had to tag out. Damn it, I. Gosh, I hate that he does the freaking power drain. Why am I not able to hit him properly? Oh my goodness. Come on. Get rid of those stupid shields. I don't like those shields. Oh my goodness. They are pretty strong it seems. Okay, I'm gonna switch to a scorpion. Wait, how did he get a special uh, shield back? Oh, I think because every time they use a special, they're able to... How did he dodge that? Oh my goodness, this is going to be quite annoying, this match. But yeah, every time they use a special, they are able to get a shield back. And, um, what was it? And whenever they tag in, they also get a shield back. Okay, he used a special. And he gets one or two back. Oh my goodness, hard to tell. Oh my goodness. Great. Scorpion got defeated. Okay, I'm going to use her X-ray. I think they do proper damage. It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. My goodness, it's very annoying that he power drains. Great, it's going to be a very annoying match. That I already don't like. Please deal a lot of damage. Okay, still dealt quite a bit. I'm gonna keep using it. And why is he regaining health? Oh my goodness. The Lizard Baraka. These guys are gonna annoy me. I don't understand why he's gaining health. Is it something I don't know about? I gotta check on them. Damn it. Oh, great. He got defeated. Why are they dodging my attacks? Oh my gosh. This is gonna be annoying. Great. And this is the only second boss. Only the second boss. Cool, I got Jin Murat for Jax Briggs and it's maxed his support. Very cool. Yeah, no thank you. I'm not going to spend $20. Um, so, what am I going to check again? Alright, he has Rock and Bowling Stones and Craftsman's Pride. Craftsman's Pride. Let's see, what does he do? Lizard Noob Saibot gains shadow energy every time he spends or loses power. his power. When he gains a full bar of shadow energy, shadow attack becomes available. This attack allows him to choose any opponent as a target and inevitably, I don't know how you say the word, applies near to them if a tagged out opponent has been chosen. Noob forces them to enter the fight through the portal. Okay, it's so not that. Upon upon uh, defeating an opponent, Lizard Noob Saibot can summon a teammate of his choice back to life with 20% of max health. The number of summons is limited to the number of Lizard characters on the team. Okay, it's so not that. But it seems like I have to defeat Noob Saibot first before Lizard Baraka, otherwise he's going to do, th do that. React your opponent. I'm just going to read it to myself. Active opponent's healing is reduced by... Okay, that's not it. 
So, okay, they both have cra Craftman's Pride. So I have a feeling it could be that that's helping them regain health or dodge attacks. Let's check quickly. Um, Team Max Health Boost. Chance to dodge a special attack. Great, 25%. Okay, so now I know what it is. Opponents up. So what is making them heal? Especially Lizard Baraka. Team gains 25 Oh, chance on. No, not that. Not that. That's for Tremor. No. Does this one heal? Because I have it, but I, I don't know what, if it heals. It doesn't seem like it. So I don't know what it is that's helping him heal, which I don't like. Why is he healing? Oh, okay, I didn't notice this. On tag out, Lizard Baraka loses, loses damage boost and gains regeneration for 10 seconds. Lizard Baraka loses damage boost. What does he need it for if he's not going to even be tagged in? That makes no f sense. <sighs> Whatever. I gotta make this quick because it's 9.43 at 10 a.m. The attempt reset, so I gotta do this quick. Okay, get feeder ready, please. Okay, that did do quite a bit of damage, which is great. Please don't tag out, damn it. He did tag out. My goodness. Okay, good, that did, that missed. My goodness. It's annoying when he keeps on like counterattacking so easily. Oh my goodness. He had a power drain him. Gosh, these two guys are annoying. I really need to get classic tower equipment more to um what's them call? Uh to rank them up and make them stronger. Especially my characters make them stronger. Please do not block. Damn it. I'm trying to get my other characters um uh, X rays. Damn it, stop freaking counter-attacking, gosh. You're so annoying. There we go. Okay, nice. Now I'm gonna use her x-ray. Come on, quick. Okay, whatever. Damn it. Do not... Are you serious? I didn't even get to use her freaking stupid x-ray. Gosh, this is very annoying. My goodness. Just use your damn x ray already. Weaken him as much as you can. Oh, great. Either just defeat me right away already, or. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to damage him so much with Scorpion. Come on. Weaken him as much as you can, please. There's nine seconds left. Oh my goodness, he's regaining health. Just defeat him, please, just defeat him. Oh my goodness. Gosh. If he would have defeated me sooner, he would have healed less damage. But he healed a bunch of damage. I mean health. I'm talking about Lizard Baraka. My goodness, this is quite annoying. Okay, Lizard, Noob Saibot again. Okay, good, he did not block it. Just get the fear already. Almost. Don't not Oh my goodness, I knew he was gonna do that. Great, and he power drained Mackenzie. 
Stop freaking blocking. I kind of forgot they have a block break as well. Just, oh my goodness. I totally forgot about the the chance to be able to dodge specials. I just realized they'd have that. Please do not. Oh my goodness. Twice in a freaking row. The um, equipment they have, craft, craftsmen, uh, whatever it's called, they're not maxed. So they have a lower chance to, to dodge specials. Oh, great. Are you serious? Of course. He had to attack him right away. Just... I didn't even get to defeat the lizard. Oops, I bought. Just because they had to freaking defeat two of them right away. And my scorpion didn't get to use his freaking stupid x-ray. Come on, damage him. Come on. Damn, my freaking mom's uh, alarm is so damn loud. I'm not even in the same room as her. It's very... Of course, I don't even get to defeat him, right? I don't understand why she puts an alarm on and she's not going to turn it off. She lets it play off for so long. Alright, I gotta defeat this idiot because he's very... Annoying. Come on. Just get the fit right. There we go. Finally. Okay, that alarm is getting very annoying. It's been off for like more than a minute. Okay, I got his. X Use your damn x ray. Hurry the heck up. <sighs> that was annoying. Okay. Please do not block it. Okay, good. He didn't block it or dodge it, which is great. I'm hoping to defeat them now. I mean, Baraka now. In this match. My goodness. Damn, don't eat her. Okay, I'm gonna switch out. I know she looks tasty, but still. Don't eat her. Come on, get your damn x-ray ready. Hurry up. There we go, there we go, there we go. Please defeat him. Oh great, they did, they did very little damage. It seems like it. Okay, good, he did not block it. There we go. Awesome, I defeated the boss battle at last. How long did that take? Four matches, I believe? I think it did. Okay, at least I got a classic tower only equipment. It would have been nice if it was a rare one or an epic one. Whatever, I guess. Okay, now for Possessed Kenshi, Classic Ermac, and Mournful Kitana. No modifier. So yes, it did take me four matches for that boss battle. They were annoying though. But whatever. Alright. Possessed Kenshi. There he defeated. Now for Classic Ermac. I'm not gonna feed it. 100%. There we go. And now for Kitana. Oh, great. She power drained him. But she got to feed it. Very nice. And how long is there left? Okay, there's nine minutes left. So I'm good. Oh, wow. I got equipment I already have maxed. I don't need it. Alright. So, um, yeah, that's the next match with the modifier hex. I wanted to check something. The Varon Jacket, what does it avoid? Chance to dodge a special attack. Yeah, so it's the same for the new um, Classic Tower equipment. It works the same way, right? Uh, yeah. 25% chance to dodge a special attack. Okay. So that's pretty cool. 
I hope I get crass, Craftsman's Pride. Opponent unblock 30% unblockable. Opponent unblockable attack chance reduction. Oh, okay. Sounds good. I really, really want to get the epic and rare equipment. That would be nice. There's um, basically 58 days left for the classic tower and then for the fatal one 34 days so i feel like i should be able to get hopefully maybe close to all the epic and rare ones maybe i get the chance to within all that time not quite sure it would be cool if i could possibly get one of them maxed if possible but they are very rare so who knows but I know for the original classic tower, I should be able to get like at least five or six diamond characters once I def complete them multiple times. But yeah, anyways, that is it for now. The um, the attempts reset in six minutes and a couple seconds. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment down below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next Mortal Kombat X video.